Today, I'm going to talk about meat, specifically a method of producing meat, which by over 95% of the world's meat industry is used today, factory farming. I'm going to be revealing the truth behind factory farms and hopefully create an awareness to help everyone consider where their meat comes from before they eat it. Factory farms do much more than destroy the animal's way of life. They demolish the environment, exhaust natural resources, and harm our bodies. The sole intention of these mass corporations like Tyson and Smithfield who use factory farms is to create as much meat as quick as possible. They treat these animals like machines, only to provide profit and nothing else. The types of situations these animals are forced into at factory farms are horrific. There are often large amounts of animals in a confined space where they can barely move. They're often genetically enhanced to mature a year faster than they naturally would, causing many defects and mutations. The environment these animals live in are inhumane. They do not permit sunlight, fresh air, and restrict them from movement. But this is only the beginning. If the animal survives the factory, they're then sent to a slaughterhouse, where they're killed by either being stuck through the skull, electrocuted, thrown into boiling water, or the ripping of the skin or feathers off, all this happening while still being conscious. If this comes as a complete shock to you, then that is okay. These companies spend billions of dollars to hide the truth from their consumers. They create an illusion, separating their meat their customers eat from the animals they come from. They create an image of a cow grazing on a wide open field, and they plaster that to a styrofoam trace, which only help dissociate the product from the industry. With the mass farming of these animals also comes water and air pollution. These animals excrete millions of tons of manure, which contain everything from pesticides, viruses, and other various drugs and diseases these animals may have picked up from the factory. Farming used to be sustainable, where such problems could easily be solved through environmental processes. However, there are so many unnatural components, not to mention the sheer amount of excrement, that these industries simply don't know what to do with it. Industrial factory farming in the U.S. produces over 2 billion pounds of manure a year. This manure is then sent to waste lagoons, where they pollute the environment and cause the certification, basically training a land that used to flourish with life and nutrients and turn it into a desert. Thousands of acres of land is cut down to grow crops to feed these animals, which destroy essential ecosystems like the Amazon. A huge percentage of the world's food production along with one-third of the Earth's clean water, except for these animals. And according to the United Nations, industrial factory farming is more of a contributor to global warming than the entire transportation system. These also, animals are also not healthy in any way. These obese creatures are full of fat and disease. The meat is dense in calories and high in saturated fat, which can increase cholesterol intake and can lead to obesity. They also contain synthetic hormones, which disrupt our hormonal balance, and also contain antibiotics. The antibiotics were used to promote growth in the animals, but also compensate for the unsanitary conditions that they were raised in. When you eat meat, you expose yourself to diseases like E. coli and salmonella, and, you, and, what, and foodborne illnesses affect one in every six Americans. And according to U.S. statistics, 3,000 people die from it a year. And there are ways to end this. I chose becoming a vegetarian. Ever since I can remember, I've loved animals and meat. When I was seven years old, I remember telling my dad I wanted to become a carnivore. I know. How ironic. But in the beginning of my freshman year, I became close friends with this girl who also had a strong passion for animals. And she asked me, why aren't you a vegetarian? And I didn't have a valid answer. Why wasn't I? I always assumed eating meat was the norm. Everyone I knew ate meat. But she sent me a link to a video that shows what happens inside of one of these factory farms, and I was terrified. For multiple reasons, I chose not to forcefully pre present those images or videos onto you today. But I highly recommend, if this topic catches your interest, to check them out. The first one shows what happens inside of a factory farm. The other shows the impact of meat on your life. Anyways, after watching those videos, I was sold onto this lifestyle. I remember my parents assumed it was just a phase, but one week went by, two months, six months, and I remember they became worried because they gave enough protein, nutrients, but I got a blood test that proved I was getting everything I needed. I'd also always been into sports, 
and after changing onto this lifestyle, my performance was not affected in any way. There are also many athletes and celebrities who are vegan and vegetarian. One being Carl Lewis, a world famous track runner, Olympic gold medalist, who set a world record the year he turned vegan. So this ideology that we might have that the only way to get enough protein and be healthy is through eating meat is misleading. But I also remember showing my parents those videos. And they were just as sickened as I was, but they still continue to eat meat. Being a vegetarian is a lifestyle and not just some health fad. So if you're like my parents and you don't want to cut out meat from your diet, there are, are still tons of ways to become more sustainable and friendlier to the earth and environment. Try reducing the amount of meat you eat, only consuming it a couple of times a week, and getting your meat from a local or organic farm. If you continue to eat meat, it's important to know where your meat is coming from. There are still companies, organizations, and farms all around the world trying to instill change. So you need to look up from that pre-farm on the packaging and step further into context and ask yourself, where is my meat really coming from? By choosing not to eat meat from a factory farm, not only are you promoting a healthier life for yourself and supporting the environment, but also taking a stand against the inhumane treatment of animals. For they are creatures of this earth just like us. It's a simple and courageous way to try to improve our planet. But even a small change in your lifestyle can have a ripple effect. And our choices start making a difference. Thank you.